welcome back once again. It's time for another edition of Inside the Headset. It's week seven, game seven, and I'm on the campus of Oakland High School, and I've got with me the head coach of the Oakland Patriots, head coach Kevin Creasy. How you doing today, coach? Doing good, Storm. Well, you were off last week, but the week before that, you were in region play against Siegel, came away a winner. Let's catch up a little bit. Talk to me a little bit about that Siegel win. Yeah, uh, defense boat is back right there at the beginning of the game. They went forward on fourth down, uh, marched into our territory, and uh, defense did a great job of, of stopping them and then stopped them the rest of the night, too, and gave us great field position. Um, offense did its job, you know, went down the field, uh, got the ball to a lot of different playmakers, uh, got the board uh, scored up right, and I uh, got the clock running in the second half. What did you see out of Siegel that has changed? You had talked about that coach was doing a really good job and stuff, and maybe, as you said, some things didn't get put together for them in and, uh, and their offensive attack. But uh, what were some of the things you liked about it, that squad? Because uh, you still think, and a lot of people still think, they, they definitely are still in this thing. Yeah, you know, uh, Coach Renishaw does a great job, and uh, he's got some really good players. Their defensive backs look as good as any defensive backs in our region. Uh, so credit to them for that. And, um, you know, they're just long and athletic. And, uh, you know, the Sims kid over there plays both sides of the ball, you know, and uh, does a great job at linebacker, but even better at running back. Uh, so they've got a workhorse over there. A quarterback is uh, really good with the ball in his hands. Always thought he did a good job last year. And then when he's healthy this year, he does a heck of a job running their offense. You knew you were going to be playing Blackman because you had the week off. So kind of what have you been doing? I mean, you get off the Seagull win, and now you know you're going to have about 13, 12 days to mess with to get better with the Oakland football squad. But tell us, take us through a little bit about what you've been working on to get better as a team with your week off. Yeah, you know, uh, really looked into what – Blackman did to us last year. Okay. You know, dived into, you know, what they felt like they needed to do last year. Now, uh, some things have changed on the defense side of the ball for us, you know. But you're just looking at the play schematically with your squad. Yeah, just uh, who they're trying to get the ball to, when they're trying to get the ball to them, how they're trying to get the ball to them. And then, of course, uh, they had some success uh, running uh, – you know, some single wing stuff, like yeah. some wildcat stuff. Yeah. Uh, so that was kind of new to us, but uh, we've really done a, a good job of uh, really diving into what's going on uh, when they're in that personnel group. And so uh, we felt like we've done a good job of preparing for that this year instead of kind of being caught with our pants down a little bit. So we're definitely uh, uh, more prepared. Uh, we do know that they've got an extra weapon that they didn't have last year. Uh, transfer in from Innsworth, uh, who is a heck of a player, a great receiver. Uh, so that changes things a little bit. Uh, been able Because you're going to have to watch out for him. Yeah. It's like uh, the other two that they've got, Justin Brown and the Marshall kid. So it kind of makes it now a three-headed dog attack that they have, yeah. definitely, that can cross the goal line at any time. Yeah, three power five wide receivers, um, two really good quarterbacks. Uh, that definitely makes it hard to defend, you know. He makes it hard to defend uh, vertically and horizontally. Uh, so, you know, it must be fun to have those kind of receivers in your repertoire uh, because those guys, all three, will be playing on Saturdays. Uh, the Page kid from Innsworth, yes. uh, great athlete. And then, like I said, moving Ben Marshall around all over the place. Uh, Justin Brown, always a good player, but now he's playing defense too. Uh, heck of a player on defense. Well, and they're all three different. You just mentioned that Ben Marshall, He, if he wants to, he likes to go a mano a mano like your quarterback, Cade Hewitt. So that would kind of be a one-on-one -on -one matchup. You got the Page kid who likes to get a lot of yak after he catches the ball. He's successful in adding two after he catches the ball. And then Justin Brown, uh, if you got to get it in a tight spot or you got to throw it into traffic or on a crossing route or a long fade route, kid's got dynamic hands. He can catch a football. All three are great weapons. They also have added another weapon, and that is they're doing a lot of onside kicks. So if you can, take us a little bit through right now. What does the Oakland Patriots, I mean, how do you say, okay, they're going to onside kick every time. It's what he's been doing. So we're going to suspect 
that he's not going to kick this. He's going to do a whirly bird or he's going to you know, try to knuckleball kick it. So you've got two and a half hours or two hours and 20 minutes every afternoon. How do you squeeze that in and where do you work that in? Of course, you have had some time off, but how do you prepare for that? And then you got to get your hands guys in there and I'll shut up. It's a long question. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's one of those things that we feel like he's probably going to do it. Yeah. Um, we've been working our hands team. We've got a... Uh, in between team that's kind of a hands team, kind of a return team. So if they do decide to kick it deep, we can return it. Uh, at the same time, we've got our best hands people out there, and we've got three really good kickers. So uh, we go three balls at the same time, and we've got three Oh, wow. Out. So you've got three kickers kicking all at the same mm -hmm. time. Yep. We've got one that's basically just aiming at everybody, trying to drill them. Okay. Uh, we've got one that's doing pretty much the spinner kick, you know, the helicopters. Right. Play and then one that's doing the traditional across the field onside kick. We'll mix it up with a bunt, a pooch kick, a deep kick. Uh, so we're trying to get three reps at the same time and three Great. different parts of our hands team. Uh, but at the same time, it's an oblong ball. It could take a weird bounce and it could go their way. Uh, but that's the chance they're willing to take. Uh, if they're going to give it to us on the 50 yard line, we'll certainly take it on the 50. Uh, but at the same time, they may get it on the 50 if they recover it. So, so it's a 50-50. It's, it's a chance. Uh, it's a chance for them to uh, make it, you know, momentum shift in a ball game and stuff like that. But uh, at the same time, it's one of those things that we've had two weeks to prepare for. When you put time around a drill like that, you have to have that many guys involved because it takes up the full amount of the field and it, it's a rewind and everything. Is it a 30 minute or, well, I mean, how long do you actually, I mean, 20 minutes? I mean, how, I mean to get no, that it's, many? It's probably, like I said, we're getting three reps at the same time. We're doing 10, 15 minutes, but we've done it every day. So uh, okay. we'll do it today. We'll do it tomorrow. And, uh, you know, that's how important it is. Uh, we'll, where we normally spend different kinds of returns, uh, you know, the minutes that we spend on that. Uh, now we're spending it on recovering on side kicks. Wow. Wow, and that's just great inside information. We appreciate you sharing that. And then defensively, when you start thinking about them and them being in their offensive attack, I mean, like you said, they've got a three-headed monster. Uh, you still going to stay in your traditional four-two-five, or you know, is that you, or you may go to a three-three? What are you going to try to do against that? Well, you'll have to buy a ticket to find that out, Stork. Or you can watch Stork Vision because I will watch be strong. Stork Vision. Yeah. Tune into Stork Vision, you'll find out. But we are definitely uh, running a lot of different stuff. Well, uh, we know that uh, you're a little bit banged up and everything, but it it, it won't matter. Uh, you you've got. Uh, I don't want to call them second strings. They're the other guys. So the other guys are going to get a, a, a get get a chance to play Friday night and. Uh, that's got to excite you a little bit because it's now their turn to step up, and you always say about this time of the year it kind of rears its head. Uh, along about game seven or eight, where I'm going to start calling on the the other guys, and 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 so they're going to have to uh, be the new chip nobodies. Yeah, well, the thing about it, uh, the bye week came at the perfect time. You know, we've had some bumps and bruises, and, uh, so the backups have had plenty of work, uh, not just this week but last week too. So. Uh, it's worked out good for us to have that bye week. Anything special you'd like to say to the faculty, staff, and administration as you get ready to load up and head over Friday night to the Inferno? You know, I was at the Inferno Friday, and I think they did a great job. I think the Blaze fans did a great job. They had a packed house. Uh, even though they were playing a, 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 a Antioch team that's non non -region. been down a little bit, yeah. you know, uh, across town, there was a great. You got game. that fire going up. Do you see the fire, Coach? The I sparks. I didn't really pay much attention to that. <laughs> okay. I did, uh, <laughs> I did see that a bunch of people paid a lot of money to get in there. Yeah. Not so much on the Antioch side. I was over there on the Antioch side, and there was only a handful of us. And that's what we got to have. That's different. We okay. got to have a lot of Patriot fans come over, watch what could be the region championship and it's at Blaze Stadium. I mean, it's going to be a great environment. It's going to be a great game and I think it'd be well worth the price of admission and if you can't make it, I think you ought to tune in to Stork Vision. Well, you know, 2011, 2010, I can remember when when Chad had uh, Itavis and then Shad had Jawan, and then Oakland had uh, Jack Jones, and it's kind of gone back and forth um, uh, here a little bit, and now 
Uh, this one is, uh, it's it's going to be cracked up to about, you know, what the fans want it to be. I mean, they, a lot of people have talked about this game. You know, I can't wait till this game. People have marked it. Uh, it's going to be a great game. Friday night over at the Inferno, that is a Stork Vision game. You can download that in your iTunes or Google Play Store. Stork Vision is the name of the app. 7 o'clock is kickoff, and we'll be there.